Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you. Live view Monterey Portola Hotel and Spa and a little bit of a treat there. You have the squid boats out there right now. It's always a beautiful sight to see them. In fact, we're having light winds currently, but we have the patchy fog developing along the bay, getting into our interior valleys as well. So you want to be careful along Highway uh, 1 as well as 68. You have Imjin extending all the way into Watsonville, cutting through into Castroville as well, back into 156. And you're going to see some of those areas right through Aptos getting all the way to Cabrillo as well. So you want to be very careful today. And as of right now, we have uh, Capital total about 53 degrees. Uh, of course, uh, the humidity about 94% and the winds are light. In fact, you're going to see uh, it's still showing that it's mostly cloudy out there and we're having this fog all the way up into some of the, the uh, well up to UC Santa Cruz as well. So you want to be careful. You can see the fog has already socked in the bay. We have dense fog in, in portions of uh, Watsonville getting all the way into uh, Castroville as well, extending to Highway 101. We have dense fog in Salinas as well as Monterey Peninsula. And of course, you have uh, about six tenths of a mile of visibility as you get on on the west side of Santa Cruz, so please be careful out there. Take it slow. Coast in uh, Salinas, we're looking at temperatures from 60 to 74 degrees. We'll clear it to partly cloudy skies today, so you'll have some sunshine today, but it is a bit cooler. A couple of degrees off today, off the mark. 66 to 78 degrees for the mountains and valleys. You too have cooled off a bit as well. Breezy winds getting up to 30 miles per hour, so you want to be careful about that today as we get into the late afternoon. Clear to mostly sunny skies for you, though, with temperatures in the 60s to 70s from the San Francisco down into the Bay Area. Back to the South Bay, Almaden, you should be around 75 degrees. Touching into 78 for Boulder Creek if you're golfing up there. Scotts Valley all the way up into the Los Gatos Hills. You might be doing some wine tasting there all the way down to 74 in Santa Cruz. And 68 in Capitola, extending down into Watsonville, about 66 degrees. So a little bit cooler in this corridor, extending to San Juan Batista in Hollister. Holding on to the 70s now, so we're stepping out of the 80s for much of the Santa Clara Valley. We'll do the same thing for the Salinas Valley as well. 66 to the mild temperatures getting into the 70s right down through King City and Bradley. Parkfield, you're going to see temperatures just around 60, uh, 77 degrees today. And then once you get over to Carmel Valley and Big Sur, you're looking at low 70s with widespread 60s on the peninsula. Then we get into the forecast for tonight. We're going to load the clouds up, do the same thing again. Bay low clouds come back, spreading inland, some areas of fog, which will be patchy to dense fog once you get into the morning. And your case PW 8 day forecast that we're going to cool it down again tomorrow by a couple of degrees, bring it back up by at least six degrees and then warming you right into your weekend. By the time we get to Mother's Day, you're looking at mostly sunny skies with, of course, a little patchy fog in the morning, 65 to 78 degrees, and we continue to cool it down as we get into Monday and Tuesday when the Amgen Tour comes through. So it's good for the cyclists to have a little bit of cool air, but they're going to be in the mild for a while as well. Once we get past Thursday, we warm you up going into your weekend with temperatures reaching near 90 degrees and then cooling down to the low to mid 70s and, of course, some 80s popping in there as well. Now, the Amgen Tours, I've told you, you're going to see them starting in King City, heading to San Lucas, heading up into the mountains of the Gabaloon Range, just shy of the Pinnacles, back over to uh, the valley, and then into the mountains again where they finish out at Laguna Seca. And here's the current temperatures, or I should say the forecast for them once you get into Tuesday. Looking pretty nice, but a little bit mild once you get up into the mountains. Britt, Lauren? Yeah, we're going to have gonna some be, great coverage out there. It's yeah, going to be fantastic. It's going to be exciting, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Art. Appreciate right. it.